Dot greetings, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel where we uncover the startling truth within the captivating world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, assemble because Buckingham Palace is resonating with anger, and it's all about Prince Harry. The news is out and it's sending shockwaves throughout the realm. Harry, once the cherished prince, has now been branded a disgrace and is confronting the repercussions of his actions. The tide has shifted, and this time, it appears to be his downfall. Before we delve deeper, I want to express my immense gratitude for your unwavering love and support. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and make sure to activate the notification bell. Excellent, so let's begin. The storm has been stirred by royal commentator Richard Eden, who minced no words when he stated, it's time for the king to remove Harry as a counselor of state. And you know what? He's absolutely correct. It's long overdue for someone to put an end to this chaos. Harry's role as a counselor of state has been a contentious issue, and Eden has highlighted the perils of retaining him in that position. Just think about it, a man who has attacked his own family, disrespected his heritage, abandoned his royal duties, and yet still has a say in state matters. It's unfathomable and frankly, a disservice to the British people. But there's more. Harry no longer even resides in Britain, having relinquished his royal duties, yet he clings to these titles and privileges as if he can have it both ways. This situation oozes entitlement and disrespect for the very institution that once nurtured him. The king, in an attempt to extend an olive branch, allowed Harry to remain as one of the councillors of state, but this move, well-intentioned as it may have been, has backfired dramatically. It stains the monarchy's credibility, a misstep with potentially far-reaching consequences. There have been murmurs of leasing a property to Harry to meet the requirement of having a British domicile. However, let's be clear, this is not the solution. It's not about real estate, it's about integrity, about preserving the sanctity of the British monarchy. Leasing a property won't alter the fact that Harry has forsaken his royal responsibilities and disrespected his family. Removing Harry as a counselor of state is not just a necessity, it's a call for justice, for accountability. The public outcry would be thunderous if he were allowed to persist in this role, given his disgraceful attacks on the royal family. The king must act promptly for the sake of the monarchy and the people who hold it dear. So, what are your thoughts on this news, everyone? Please share your opinions in the comments below and let me know your perspective. Until then, stay tuned for more astonishing stories and revelatory exposés on our YouTube channel, and remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay informed about the latest developments in the royal family's world. Thank you for watching, and we'll be back with more intriguing news about the royal family. Goodbye for now.